This problem illustrates concept of packing fraction in simple cubic unit cell. Now what is packing fraction? It is defined as volume of atom in unit cell divided by total volume of unit cell. We can also write packing fraction in percentage. So percentage packing fraction and this is the volume of atom in unit cell volume of atom divided by total volume and both is for unit cell multiplied by 100. Now this is packing fraction for any unit cell packed part plus void part is equals to 1 that is total part so total unit cell total unit cell volume this is equals to volume of packed part plus volume of void so we can say packing fraction plus void fraction is equals to 100 percent so we can say packing fraction plus void fraction is equals to 1 we can also write in terms of percentage so percentage packing fraction plus percentage void fraction this is equals to 100 so let us consider the case of simple cubic unit cell in case of simple cubic unit cell we have 8 atom at the corner so 4 atom 5 6 7 8 so we have all the corner we will have one atom so this is one this is two three four five six seven eight so we have eight atom on the corner same unit cell we can show using a space filling model now on each corner we have a atom so this atom is on this corner on this corner we have this atom on this corner we have the, this atom that is the back one this one on this corner we have this atom on this corner we have this atom this atom now on this corner this atom here we have this atom so you see atoms are touching along the edge so this is the edge so atoms are touching along the edge so one important point in simple cubic unit cell atoms touches along the edge this is shown here also this atom and this atom touches let us try to visualize now this is the simple cubic unit cell so we have 8 atom now let us see 
this atom is part of how many unit cell we will have a unit cell this side that is this one so this atom is part of this unit cell this unit cell we can also have a unit cell this side so this atom is also part of this unit cell this atom is also part of this unit cell because we can extend this one this side now we have so this means this atom is part of four unit cell this is one this is two this is three and this one is four now this is in the downward side if I extend this line up we can have four more unit cell so if I extend this line I will have one unit cell just above one one unit cell just above two one unit cell just above four and one unit cell just above three so basically this atom a corner atom is part of eight unit cell so we can say in simple cubic a corner atom atom is part of 8 unit cell this means in 1 unit cell atom has only 1 by 8 contribution so contribution of 1 atom in a unit cell is equals to 1 by 8 let us find total contribution so we have 8 atom so these atoms are here so total contribution that is total volume first let us find total contribution of atom in a unit cell that is we have 8 atom 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and contribution is 1 by 8 so this is 1 atom this is also called effective number of atom so effective number of atom we have that is Z effective that is also written as Z effective one atom let us say R is the radius of atom then we can calculate volume of atom inside a unit cell that is we have only one atom so 1 into 4 by 3 pi r cube now let us find volume of unit cell so let us say if I have as length of this unit cell is a so this is a cubic unit cell all lengths are a this length is also a so volume will be AQ now we have to write one relationship between R and A that is edge length and radius of atom and this can be found from here if you see these are structures atoms are touching along the edge so this atom only 1 by 8 part of atom this is only 1 by 8 part of atom these two atoms are touching along the edge so A is equals to 2R so basically atoms are touching along the edge so we have one atom is here another atom is here another atom is here
So you see atoms are touching along the edge. So this is A and this is radius of atom. This length is also A. This is radius of atom. This is also radius of atom. So A is equals to 2R. Now let us find packing fraction. that is volume of atom 1 into 4 by 3 pi r q divided by volume of cube that is a q if I am interested in percentage packing fraction we have to multiply by 100 and this is equals to 4 by 3 pi a q pi r q and a is equals to 2 r so we will have 4 pi r q this divided by 3 into 8 r q so r q cancel so we will have 4 pi by 24 into 100 so this is pi by 6 into 100. So we have pi by 6. This is 0.52. So this is 52.3 percent. So in case of simple cubic unit cell, simple cubic unit cell, only 52 percent of space only 52.3 percent of a space is filled simple cubic unit cell is sometimes also called primitive cubic primitive cubic unit cell and this is same as simple cubic so in this case only two points is important first point is edge length and radius is related by a is equals to 2r and corner atom has 1 by 8 contribution one by eight contribution.